Well, what's the problem? Cybrax is out. You'd better explain that. We don't have it anymore. It's escaped. My name is Jean Daniel. Jean Daniel. I drew you to this place. And now, I'm going to let you out into the world. Cybrax has built-in protections. Anyone who crosses it will get eaten alive. How does he think he's doing? Roland! Get him out of there. There's something wrong. Go, Cybrax. Boom. Something is insinuating itself into the chemical layout of Roland's memory. Look, see how it's increasing. The virus is a program that can write itself into the chemistry of your brain. It avoids detection by continually moving itself around. Realization of its presence is one trigger. The true nature of CyberX is the other. If you put that control set on, you'll get a brain full of the CyberX self-destruct virus. It'll kill you. Let me help you. I'm trapped, and there's somebody coming. Take the Niobium 5. Carry on as planned. We'll find a way. Ross, no! <sighs> I feel strange. There are gaps. I feel as if there are things I ought to know, but I don't. What do your friends say? I never thought I'd say this. But I don't think I can trust them. Why not? They're hiding things from me. Files go missing and they tell me nothing's wrong. Why would they do that? I don't know. They whisper about me. They stop when they see me coming. I found this in my clothes. It's one of my own trackers. It's not just that Beckett and Ed are lying to me. They've actually got me under surveillance. Luster. She must have found the tracker. Where are you? Science faculty. Ah, her old tutor's got an office there. Hang on, I'll get his name for you. I'm on the way. Ed! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I just thought I'd continue my education. <laughs> I don't think they do a degree in racing bikes and Marvel comics. <laughs> I know, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Look, come up here. OK. How come you're so chirpy? <laughs> you know the gaps in the records I've been worrying about? What gaps? Oh, huge chunks of stuff has gone missing, Ed. And I feel as if a part of my life went missing with it, but I think I've worked out how I can find them. I changed our file server last month, <laughs> which means that all the information is still on the old hard disk. Now, I put it in the basement somewhere. If I can find it, I can work out what happened to Roland. 
right. Thank you. Don't worry, it's just me. You find it? No, no luck yet. Where's Ros? Oh, I don't know. She, she lost me again. What's a file server look like, anyway? It's a grey box with a light on the front. Oh, great. That narrows it down. Any suggestions on how we deal with this virus? Well, ordinary computer virus is the only model we have. With those, it's either on the disk or in the memory. So you either delete the code or switch the machine off and reboot using a clean set of instructions. Ross, what are you doing? I'm super gluing a padlock. I know you two Houdinis will have no problem getting out of here, but this ought to give me enough of a start. Ross, I don't believe this. Yeah, well, that makes two of us, Ed. Something's changed here, and I can't work out what it is. I'll give you one chance to tell me. Who's got to you? What's making you do this? We can't tell you. Are you trying to protect me from something? Is that it? Well, you ought to know by now I don't need it. Or maybe you're just not the people I thought I knew. I'm going to find out what's behind this, and I swear to you, I will not let up until I do. Ross! Please don't. Ross? Ross? Ross! There's not a thing you can say, mate. She'll work it out. I mean, if anyone's gonna work it out, then she will. No, she finds the answer. Be the last thought she ever has. We don't know if this virus thing's for real. We've seen it in action, man. It's for real. What I'm saying is we should keep an open mind. I mean, it could be something else altogether. Something else? Something else that gets in your head, messes with your brain, leaves a little time bomb ticking in your mind? I know you don't want to believe it, but for Roz's sake, we've got to deal with it. Yeah, all right, Ed. I'm just saying this shouldn't even be possible. Forever. She's still up there. I can hear her moving around. Come on in. Another half turn, and we're almost there. <clears throat> Lovely. Got it. Friends are not your friends. Sorry, Ross. Hello? Nick Beckett? Who's that? I'm Dr. Talbot. I used to be Ross Henderson's tutor. I think I know what's wrong with Ross. She gave me clues she didn't even know about. What can we do? I have one of the Cyberax devices. It was donated to one of our departments. Donated? Uh, academic sponsorship. Uh, in every institution on the land. Cyber access Trojan horses. <laughs> Come over. We're on our way. If Talbot used Cyberx, he'll be infected. This could be some kind of trap.
look through the glass. I've locked myself in, just in case anyone's tempted to interfere. What are you doing? I'm treating this as a serious emergency. We've been the dominant species on this planet for two million years. But it looks as if cyber axe has caught us up in a matter of months. He's going to infect himself with the virus. If we're about to be pushed aside by a new dominant species, it means we're about to become one of the Orsarans. If you want to know how a dominant species treats the Orsarans, look in the sandwich. Dr. Talbot, look, there's a bit more to it than that. Cyberx steals the bodies of its victims. We don't know why. You're right to wonder. It's a cold intelligence, Mr. Beckett. It cares nothing for us, unless we're of some use to it. I'll tell your friend the door's bolted from my side. I can't see any other way than this. I'm hoping the next 30 seconds will be the most useful research I've ever undertaken. Dr. Tolbert, Ros has disappeared. We've no idea where she's gone. Did she give you any ideas? All she said was that if your friends are no help, then what does that leave you? There is a little time to tell you. Where can I start? Cyberax. It's grown to its limits, but it's bursting to grow more. How? Technopolis! What's he talking about? Technopolis. Well said it's a brand new purpose-built city in the middle of nowhere. Central Europe's bid to join the 21st century. The Technopolis Tower is a key. Big machines, fast machines. The moment they come online, Cyberax will race in. They are building the biggest single concentration of processing power in the world. Don't let Ross get anywhere near. Shut it down. Keep her away. Oh, God, time is running out. What can I tell you about the virus? It's through the limbic system and into the medial temporal lobes. You can't remove it without... You must excuse me now. There's something I have to do. We can try. Don't let this happen again. Not to Roz. Not to anyone. Dr. Talbot, hold on. You must tell us how we can stop Roz going to Technopolis. Too late. He's gone, Beckett. If your friends are no help, what does that leave? Your enemies. Ours is like no prison you ever saw. Am I right? You certainly are. Is it worth the journey? I uh, don't see any bars. How secure are you? This is Ultimax, Miss Henderson. 
Ours is a world-class facility for holding those whom no other jail can hold. We take the extreme social deviance from all nations. Not one ever leaves us. They're here till they die. Speak. He can't hear you. What does all this equipment do? There's a constant low current passing through his brain. It keeps him in a state of desynchronized sleep for however long we wish. All his physical needs are monitored and taken care of automatically. Even exercise. You keep him like this all the time? No, no. Prisoners get two hours of consciousness in every 48. That's inhumane. On the contrary. It's the most humane solution of them all. In his dreams, he's free. And like this, he can never harm anyone again. My first visitor. You seem to be well taken care of. It's just like home. Speaking of which, Miss Henderson, you're a long way from yours. Why are you here? Give me a straight answer to this, and I'll do what I can for you. Could Beckett and Ed have switched sides on me? Well done, Miss Henderson. I was thinking you had no surprises for me. I really didn't see that one coming. Well, they've changed. I can't trust them. I don't seem to be able to rely on anything. Really? I know I helped to put you here, but I don't know how. I know I shut down an accelerator, but I can't remember why. The Bureau of Weapons has closed down. Roland Blatty's disappeared. Ed won't explain it to me, and Beckett doesn't seem to care. <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, this is exquisite. I'll give you an honest answer. I know exactly what's happened to you. And? Only one thing will give me more pleasure than telling you right now. And that's knowing that while I dream, you'll be finding it out for yourself. I wish you every success, Miss Henderson. More than you could possibly know. So what does that mean? I'll even start you off. See what you can discover about a corporate entity called Cyberax. Hmm? But I warn you, it'll blow your mind. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. hoping to be a little less conspicuous. Don't worry, Ed. Nobody knows he's here. Yeah? What about all the explosive kit in your Dorothy bag? It's well disguised. Hey, look. First prize in the Easter Island look-alike contest. The next Technopolis transit service is leaving the airport. Stand still, please. This service calls at Technopolis Central. Do you want to see our papers? Not yet. Please do not move. Passport checks, a retinal scan, voice prints, no fingerprints. What the hell are they using? Image recognition. What if 
Cyberex could get into that. I just had exactly the same thought. I need somewhere to stay. I'll see what I can do. All our hotels are very busy. <laughs> what? The Technopolis Tower goes online today. All our international suppliers have been invited to the ceremony. Rooms are being held for each of them. The Technopolis what? The largest and fastest single processing facility in the world. Our city's flagship development. Well, unless you're expecting a very late rush, I would say that most of your international suppliers are staying at home. There are one or two cancellations. Thank you. Cyberax. I'm sorry. Is there a company called Cyberax on the guest list? Cyberax does have a considerable presence in Technopolis. I want the hotel you're saving for the Cyberax people. Please. Go Cyberax. Work on the Technopolis Towers all finished. But young Daniel has been out of service. I saw the contracts through for him. The processors are all in. At midnight, you can move all your code into the biggest random access memory there is. Understood. No. Understand this first. There is a condition. set up that way. You have an automated revival unit? Yes, but it can't work now. Go online to Cyberax. You'll find a revival procedure ready to download. It works on the reticular activating system, whatever that means. It's a function of the brain, activates the thalamus and the cortex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking the same language. All right, come on.
So this is the crowd we're going to vanish into, yeah? Looks like we missed happy hour. Danielle, can you hear me? We're in the city hospital. Cyberax got into the control system and shut you down. It was the only way to get you out of prison. The Technopolis Tower goes online today. Do you remember what we planned? I remember everything. Who are you? Technopolis Cable Broadcasting. Information on demand. For centuries, our people were tied to an agricultural economy. That was the past. This is the future. Where there were once only fields of beetroot, now rise high-tech structures of steel and glass. Technopolis, city of the future. Technopolis Tower, the jewel in the crown of our city's information technology revolution. We are proud that Technopolis has been chosen as the site of such an important facility and proud to be associated with those who have so boldly planned what amounts to the world's first artificial intelligence center. Surely they are the world's most forward-thinking entrepreneurs. Room service. I want to order a bottle of champagne to the Cyberex suite. man is without me after all, hmm? There are two men in town. They are here to interfere with the opening of the tower. Please hunt them down. What about the woman? I have a plan for her. She is within my grasp. Why didn't you get Cassandra to do this? She insisted on your escape. Thank you. I'll get the weapons. Associated with those who have so boldly planned what amounts to the world's first artificial intelligence center. When the systems come online, this one building will contain... Miss Henderson, I am Cyberax. Who's doing this? I am everywhere. We have been acquainted before, most intimately. Allow me to explain. Look, stop playing games. I want to see you face to face. Which proves you know nothing of my actual nature. I shall tell you the truth about Cyberax. I was oh, conceived as an artificial intelligence. Ross, are you okay? It was about to tell me. I know. You must leave Technopolis uh, now. Oh! You're not the Beckett I know. Where is he and what are you? Beckett. Beckett. Danielle was more honest with me than you. Ross, don't go to the tower! Technopolis Tower? Why would I want to go there? 
Roz, look, there is an explanation. Just give us a chance and we'll tell you. Roz? Oh, come on, open the door, will ya? Roz! She isn't there. Thank you for using our interactive channel. Your choice of program is downloading now. The Technopolis Tower. The biggest and fastest parallel processing facility in the world. The supercomputer is dead. This is the future. The greatest concentration of random access memory the world has ever seen. So what's the plan for the tower? You'll have to chase Roz while I blow the main data cable. And what will that achieve? Well, it's a quick and simple way of making sure Cybrex doesn't move all its code into the building. Oh no, the timer's broken. I must have landed on it when I fell. Can you set it manually? Well, I can if I move fast enough once I pull out the pin. Well, hang on. You've got to pick your time to blow the system. I mean, right now, Cybrex is spread all over. It's like this powerful. It's dispersed. It's untouchable. Five minutes after midday, it's transferred all its code into the processors in Technopolis Tower. OK, so then it's this powerful, but it's all in one place. Of course, that's what Jean Daniel's after. Exactly. It'll be vulnerable. Once it's in, whoever controls the power supply controls Cyberax. Don't blow up the data cable before it goes in. Blow up the power lines afterwards, and Cyberax is wiped out. Coming. Yeah, I think it's the power lines. I think it's the drains. Everything they say about this place is true. Whoa! We've arrived. Technopolis Tower must be right above us. Hey, come on, Ed. We can slip up past the guards. Well, what will I say to Ross? Well, I don't know, mate. But whatever you do say, say it in duck. This is great. If you get to set the explosives, I get the really dangerous job. They buy, they sell, they innovate, they license. It's one of those companies that just gets bigger and bigger without ever actually getting its hands dirty. Not so much a trading body, more a state of mind. You discovered the cuisine. What is it? Well, it's probably some form of beetroot. That seems to be the only crop they produce. Don't touch a champagne either. It isn't pink by accident. Ross, don't run. Please trust me. Ross, I know you think it's weird. It's even weirder than you imagine. Have I ever, ever lied to you about anything important before? Ladies and gentlemen, the hour is upon us. Allow me to introduce the man who made it all possible. No speeches. We're online. Let's go. But sir, we have an entire ceremony planned. No ceremony. Cybrax is moving in. But sir... God bless the tower and all who sail it. Stay where you are, please, ladies and gentlemen. It will take me but a moment. This Henderson. Two birds with one stone. What are you doing here? Listen, there's a simple explanation behind it, and it's easy enough to see, but all you've got to do is. Not think of an elephant. What? Cyberax wants them intact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cyberax will have to learn to take the orders instead of giving them. Not thinking about an elephant is the key to everything. Ed, how can I deliberately not think of something you've just put into my head? You're not making any sense. Just work at it, OK? Just don't let an elephant get into your mind. <sighs> John Danielle. Someone's in the operational zone. Get up, both of you. Attention. 
Technopolis Tower is now receiving a major input of external data. Attention. Technopolis Tower is now receiving a major input of external data. You're trespassing, Mr. Beckett. What are you doing to these people? Well, isn't it obvious? They'll be the next stage of the game. Niobium processors are fast, but organically grown processors will be even faster. We've been collecting the brightest human specimens. And Roland? Do you see those empty places? They're reserved for you. Otherwise, be assured you would not have survived this long. Human microchips. Slave brains for Cybrax to use. Is that what this is leading to? It's monstrous. You'll never manage it. We already have. How? The same way you got that computer virus into Rosa's head. What virus would that be? You know, that little piece of destructive programming that Cybrax leaves behind when it's finished violating someone's brain for its own purpose? one we're trying to protect her from. Ah, the dangerous truth about cyber acts. I, I didn't say that. That isn't what I meant. Ross, don't think about it. I rather think it's too late. It's all right, Beckett. I understand everything. Ross, fight it. You can't fight it. You must excuse me now. There's something I have to do. Boss! Ah! Is it too late? Not yet. I know what you're thinking. Just do it. Listen, if a virus is on the disk, you delete the code. If it's in the memory, you switch off the machine and reboot from a clean set of instructions. Of course. City Hospital's only about two blocks from here. Well, you'll have to get her there. What about you? Well, I set the charges with a manual trigger. I mean, I, I couldn't set it off until Cybrax was in. I've got to go back. John Daniel? John Daniel? John Daniel? Where's my gun? I don't care if Cyberax does want their minds. I'm gonna clean out this infestation for good. Jean Daniel, I have a task for you. I don't think so. No. New rules of the house. I'll keep it simple, because there is only one. You do whatever I tell you, or I shut you down. If I choose to interrupt the power supply, you will cease to be. This is something new for you. The rest of us call it dying. Do you understand that? Uh, if I want the use of a satellite, you will get it for me. Uh, 
an international bank, an army, a government, whatever I ask for, you will deliver. Before we discuss that, you should know there is already a bomb on my power supply. What? There'll be no heartbeat for five minutes. Any reflection? I don't know! Start recovery. Put her in the automated revival unit. Isn't there a backup supply? Nothing that works beyond this room. Cybrex has to know that it's vulnerable. Can one blip in the power really kill it? Now it's all transferred in. We've got a complete electronic intelligence focused in one place. Pull the plug on that, and there's no getting it back. I would prefer not to die. John Daniel. John Daniel. John Daniel. John Daniel. Move. John Danielle. There. Vital units failed. Take it offline. What are you doing? I'm sorry. You're not giving up. We did everything we could. But we just lost her. Please, neither of you should be in here. It's all my fault. Hang on, are you telling me that you can bring back a crook like Jean Daniel and you can't do the same for her? The reflex was there, but it was fading. I hooked her up to the same Cyberax procedure, but it was just too late. Cyberax? Cyberax is gone! Are you trying to tell us all this time you've had her online to nothing? Crash team, room five! Is Nick. Don't let go. Roz? Roz?
Ros, get back here. We need you. Do you know who we are? Do you remember anything? Elephants. How's your memory? It's the little things. The color green, the taste of coffee. It's like I'm learning them for the first time. But everything connected to the virus has gone completely. I'm sorry for not trusting you. Hey, don't worry. It was an impossible situation. Taste of coffee, huh? Let's go practice. Bye, Raymond. Mm -hmm. 